This week, another Jurassic Park crossover two-pack, a Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency crossover, and JT Prime 17 serves up some new legacy uni leaks. I'm Danny Dolphin from YouTube, and you're watching Transformers Weekly for the week of Sunday, May 28th, 2023. Before we begin, if you haven't done so already, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also, do not forget to enable notifications if you wish to keep up to date with this channel's activity. Thanks! This episode of Transformers Weekly is sponsored by me. There will be more details about me near the end of this video in the description. We will be right back. Now onto the news. On Tuesday, Amazon opened a pre-orders for the collaborative Jurassic Park Dilopicon and Autobot JP-12 2-pack, featuring two deluxe action figures. The box recreates the scene from the original Jurassic Park movie where Dennis Nedry as JP-12 is caught in the rain by a Dilophosaurus Dilopicon. Anyone familiar with the movie knows how the encounter ends. The release date is set for October 1st, 2023. Also on Tuesday, it was revealed by Takara Tommy that Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, also known as JAXA, will have an action figure crossover with Optimus Prime, named Lunar Cruiser Prime. Optimus will take alternate form of Toyota Moon patrolling vehicle with a white shell, while his robot mode sports a familiar classic motif. To be released during March 2024, the price is $80 USD and is now available for crowdfunding via its website. JT Prime 17 is added again. He's dug up information on upcoming Legacy Uni releases from as early as January 2024. First is a Deluxe Class Generation 1 Optimus Prime. Second is a Voyager Cybertron Vector Prime. Third, a Leader Armada Galvatron. Fourth, a Voyager Buzzworthy Bumblebee Origins Wheeljack. And finally, two Rock Lords, maybe? Deluxe Magnius and Core Boulder Crash. Finish out the leaks. And now, word from our sponsor. Hey, it's me, Danny Dolphin, your favorite dolphin. You can find me on my YouTube channel where I do toy hunts, uh, figure reviews, and some streaming. You can check all my social media links on my YouTube channel. But for the love of God, do not Google me, ah! even if it's 3 a.m. Welcome back to Raziel King Reviews, and today, once again, I need you to decide which version of this character was the better voice for you. You vote in the comments. But it's not me! It's this moon! Something's moving it! Or... The Autobots ain't paying you for attitude. We're paying you to find Energon. Once again, from the top. One question. How important is it to keep the Earth's moon intact? Or... Well, polish my tailpipe. You weren't lying after all. This'll keep the Autobots in the fight for a few cycles. Superion is the Autobot Scramble City Aerialbot combiner comprised of Silverbolt Air Raid, Skydive, Alpha Bravo, and Firefly. The first Autobot combiner, they were a work in progress. Silverbolt had a fear of heights which made Superion mentally unstable. Combined, Silverbolt would fight the Union to avoid any type of aerial feats. Eventually, when faced with no other choices in battle against Menasaur, Silverbolt cleared his mind and the combination achieved stability. Sometimes, Powerglide has been included in the combiner form to increase its power. It is now time for Toy Break, a number of small bits of news given in rapid fire succession. To celebrate the upcoming Rise of the Beast movies, Hasbro shipped boxes of merchandise to influencers. Transformers reviewers recipients include Bacon from T Formers and Rodimus Primal. The outside of the box sports a metal container with a jungle motif. Inside the box was a storybook, t-shirt, and a number of action figures from the various Rise of the Beast toy lines. Minimates has revealed their San Diego Comic-Con 2023 exclusive item. It's a four-pack of Transformers the Movies 1986. Characters Rodimus Prime, Ultra Magnus, Thundercracker, and a dead Optimus Prime. Although you could pretend he's a Nemesis Prime, pre-orders are now available via online retailers at $30 USD. 
On Thursday, Transformers Tactical Arena was announced for the Apple App Store. Those with an Apple account on their iPhone, iPad, Mac can download the free-to-play real-time players versus player strategy game, developed by Red Games. The game places players inside a battle arena where each team must defend their side while also claiming their opponents. DNA Design continues their mission for providing add-ons and accessories for action figures. This time, they have created an upgrade for Legacy Evolution Prowl. The new kit allows Prowl to reach his awakened samurai form by giving him his helmet, armor, and weapons seen in Transformers Animated. Pre-orders are now available via a number of online retailers for $30 USD and is expected to be released by September 2023. Have you ever wondered what your automobile would look like as a Cybertronian? Well, wonder no more! Snapchat has released Transform Your Car AR Lens that gives your Snapchat users the ability to scan their vehicle and watch them convert. Download it now today on the App Store. Sonic Bomber Core has appeared again, this time to show us in-hand images of Deluxe Legacy Evolution Cyberverse Shadow Striker. Quite obviously a pre-tool of Robots in Disguise 2001 Sideburn. Shadow Striker sports her familiar head sculpt and purple coloring. She's expected to be released in North America by the end of 2023. Takara Tommy has opened pre-orders for 12-inch Rise of the Beast Optimus Primal. It converts from robot to beast mode and includes two swords and two missiles. Colored black with silver highlights, this action figure will please the most dedicated of Primal fans. Pre-orders are now available via online retailers are expected to be released by August 2023. Cinemark Theatres has released details about their Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime popcorn bucket. Available to order online via Cinemark websites for $25 USD. The bucket features Prime's head with light up eyes and a helmet opens up to reveal a place for popcorn. AMC is offering at its theaters Prime in a vehicle mode where its trailer is a popcorn tin. When I voiced Prime, for the very first time, I was living with my brother, Larry. He was a Marine. And I said, I'm going to an audition. I'm going to be a truck. And he started to laugh. He said, he said, a truck. And I said, this is a leader. This is a hero. And his demeanor just changed. He just went, well, Peter, if you're going to be a leader, be strong enough to be gentle. And I got to the audition and I said, my name is Optimus Prime from the planet Cybertron. I had no doubt that this is what a hero should sound like, and I was convinced I was going to get that role. This is an emergency. Can you hear me, Mirage? Roll out. Hey, who the hell was that? Peter Cullen gets behind that mic, and he goes deep into Optimus Prime mode. You're like, whoa, this is really happening. We have one last hope. Stephen Capel Jr. really is sensational. He's thoughtful, he's energetic, he's moving, he instills that confidence. Take the wheel. Damn, baby! Every Transformers movie, Optimus Prime and a lead human being are always close. And this is the first time in a film where you see these two characters who are trying to figure things out. You brought a human here. Transformers Rise of the Beasts has the same ingredients that were there at the beginning. There is that integrity, there's a dignity, there's courage. It's an honor to be able to do this character. I've talked with a lot of people that grew up with Transformers, and I don't take them for granted. I love you guys. This is Optimus Prime, June 9th. I invite you to the movies. This is the last episode of the season. Over the course of it, we have been tailoring the layout of the episodes based upon viewer and staff feedback. Despite that fact, our viewership numbers have become stagnant. Thus, we are looking for more constructive criticism. Your recommendations will help us determine what we need to change for the next season, assuming there will be one. So please leave your thoughts and comments below. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Transformers Weekly. All of our sources will be in the video's description. If you have any comments or questions, please let us know. Also, remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you wish to keep up to date with all the latest Transformers news. I am Danny Dolphin from YouTube, and I'll catch you up on that flip side.